in this video I'm gonna implement this instrumentation amplifier and I'm gonna look at my ECG signal so as you can see I prepared the resistors for uh, this design and I picked my R3 to be 82k and my R gain is 5k my R2 is 5k as well 5.1k all of them 5.1 R1 is 100k okay so the first step would be to double check that the values are of the resistors are correct that you didn't mess up the colors and then we have these uh, 741 op amps also you need to remember that you read the op amp pin 1 uh, from the dot okay as you can see, there's a little circle there, a dot. That's that's signifying node number one. So now I'm gonna start placing my components. Uh, make sure to place the up amp here across this gap, so that you don't short the uh, pins. Okay. So you put one, and make sure when you place it, don't bend its legs. Make sure. Uh, place it properly um, over those ga uh, those uh, slots and then just press gently from one side to the other let me make sure that I do that okay and then I'm gonna put the other one you can't see the dot okay here is the dot okay again wiggle it in don't bend it's uh, legs and then the final one here so i'm gonna put it in a way that looks like the schematics that i showed you earlier why because i want to be able to debug easily if i had an issue okay so now i have all of my three up amps uh, connected on the board now the next step is to power the op amps okay so let's power the op amps you should know that pin number four is the minus 15 pin. So, four and then two, minus 15. This is five, this is ground, and this is minus 15. And then I'm gonna do the same for this one and this one. I did a little trick here to make my circuit look neat. I connected all of the minus 15s together. Okay, so that I don't have like a long wire extending to here and then another one to here. Just one to minus 15, make sure it's minus 15, yes. And then you can power the others from this guy. And so you know that 15 is supposed to go to pin number seven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven just gonna connect this seven with this seven you don't need to do that but this is making my circuit look neat and this seven with this seven and then finally this seven with 15. let's start connecting the resistors from the first up amp from pin number six, there is the 100K, which is my R1. R1 goes to anywhere here. And then R1 is connected to R gain, which is for me 5.1. So let's put that 5.1. Okay, don't make them touch. And then again, our gain is connected to the other R1, which goes to pin six of the lower up amp. Okay, there is a wire that goes from the minus pin, then the inverting pin, which is pin two, it goes to where? It goes to 
the leg of R again that is connected to R1, which is this one. And then the same for this op amp from pin 2 to this leg of R gain, which is connected to the R1 of the first op amp. Next is R2, which is connected from pin 6, which is this guy here, to where? To a node. After that, it's connected to R3, which is this one. Okay, it's hard to see through the camera. And then I'm just going to put it here, anywhere. And then connect it to ground. Let me put the ground in yellow. This is our ground. This one from pen 3, a wire goes to uh, be in between R2 and R3 here. So I'm just going to do it in which color? I'm going to do it in black. It doesn't matter the color, it's just that use colors to make debugging easier. And so this goes with this node. And then pin number two of the last op amp goes to between R2 and R3 of this op amp. But we haven't connected R2 and R3, so let's do it. R2 is connected to pin six, which is this. Okay, and then connect R3. And then this R3 is not connected to ground like the other one. It's connected to V out of this op amp, which is pin 6. Can we reach? Yes, we can. So if you don't have to use wires, don't use wires. So you don't need to use a wire, for example, from this guy to 6. Okay. So just like put the resistor in. We have this one hanging. So, and this one, surprisingly. Okay, so this, the two one goes to here. Make sure, yes. And this one goes between R2 and R3 here, صح? Yes. So this one between R2 and R3 here, which is pin 3, which is the non-inverting input of this up amp with this guy doing the same, but with the inverting input of the op amp, it goes between R2 and R3. In addition to my instrumentation amplifier, I'm gonna do an RC filter, a low pass filter from the output of the last op amp. I'm gonna take this resistor and put it here and then a capacitor the output here and then this capacitor needs to be grounded so I did a, a low pass filter here and I'm taking the output from here from between the uh, resistor and capacitor and this is connected to channel AI0 plus and the minus is connected to ground. The output of this filter, which is right here between the resistor and the capacitor, is taken to a CR circuit, which is a high pass filter, as you can see here. And then this is the C, this is the C, and this is the R of the CR uh, high pass filter. And then the output of that is this wire right here, which is uh, the signal after going through the high pass and the low pass. And then you're going to connect it to your scope. I have here wipes and electrodes, so I'm going to wipe the skin first and then connect the electrode.
and these are the wires that I'm going to clip to the electrodes and these ends will go into the circuit and then you're gonna connect your right hand to V1, your left hand to V2 and your right leg to uh, instead of the ground in R3 and then you'll get the signal like this it's a straightforward implementation I hope you now know how to do it